got the uh, painting done on the Hulk and glued the torso to the pants and the legs to the pants. Just got some poster tack on the base there to hold him to the base. I didn't like the way I had him positioned before so I took the um, pieces of paper clip out and I'm just going to wind up gluing him once I get the base painted. So I'm going to take him off of here and set up and get ready to start painting the base. I did some pre-shading, some here for the shadow and then some obviously in the cracks. I also sprayed this manhole cover solid with black. Um, now I want to lighten everything else up but that manhole cover. So I need to cut me a piece of tape to put on top of it so I can keep that blackness there. Cut a piece of uh, just 3M blue painter's tape cover that manhole cover so now I'm going to uh, spray some more of that gray Steinol Res primer to lighten all the other areas up and I'll be back. Everything's lightened up a little bit more looking a little bit more like concrete and I want to paint these bricks red so what I'm going to do is I'm going to take some of this burnt red I'm going to spray it with that, but first I'm going to take some regular painter's tape. Mask off the brick. I'll go and spray that and I'll come back and show you what it looks like. I got the uh, burnt red on there. I'm going to take some of this uh, mahogany and I'm going to go in and hit some of the the edges just kind of to break it up a little bit kind of like a pre-shade like I did on the concrete part and then I'll come back with the uh, burnt red over top to lighten it all back up I'll do that and I'll be right back red sprayed it's looking pretty good I took the uh, little round piece off for the manhole cover what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna spray the manhole cover with the silver metallic <clears throat> and I'm going to take the other piece that I cut that circle out of and I'm going to tape him on here and then I'm going to take some more this blue painters tape and cover the rest like so so I'm going to go spray that and I'll come back and show you what it looks like. Got the manhole cover sprayed and when I took the uh, tape off it peeled off some of the paint from the red here which is okay. Um, I, I didn't de-stick the tape. I didn't take a lot of the sticky off so that's my fault. I'm just going too fast. So what I'll do is I'll mask the manhole cover off and mask the rest of the concrete off give it another coat of that uh, burnt red and it'll just look like uh, damaged brick or something like that it, it, it'll be a fine texture it'll look good so let me do that and then I'll come back I went back and sprayed a real light coat of that Steinol Res black primer on the manhole cover because I'm going to do some dry brush on it but I did go ahead and seal with the uh, Krylon matte finish so now I need to set up and start doing some dry brush and some washes. I put the base on a towel here because I'm going to soak this thing with some water. What I'm using here is a number six brush. And what I'm going to do first is I'm just going to take a bunch of water. And I'm going to get it all over here. It's going to get in the cracks because I have that matte finish on there which is what I wanted to do is just kind of get in focus into the cracks so get as much water as I can in there and I'm going to take this Vallejo uh, game color wash this is the black wash I've mixed it 50 50 with water and I'm just going to start 
going over this whole thing with the wash. Right now I'm just wanting to want it to get into the cracks. There you see how the capillary action's getting it all down in the cracks. Alright, I'm going to keep working on this and then when I get it to a point that I like it, I'll come back and show you what it looks like. I'm trying to get some, uh, some texture on the flat parts. So what I'm doing is just kind of stippling some of that wash with the brush and then I'm taking a Q-tip here and just kind of picking it up and kind of, you know, moving it around. So it's creating little little bits of darkness which creates a texture. Kind of simulate what asphalt or concrete would look like. So I want to finish this up and I come back we'll uh, start doing the dry brush. I'm dry brushing the manhole cover using the silver. This is a hog hair brush. It's a cheap brush, but you get a you get more of a scratchy dry brush because it's hog hair. It's not as fine as a sable hair. So I wiped off most of it, and then just go over and hit the high spots. Yeah, looks good. All right, now I can move on to the next step. I'm going to dry brush these bricks. Um, I put my little piece of tape over the manhole cover there and of course some tape here. And I'm using this bold pyrrole red. I got it on my hog hair brush here. Got most of it off. I'm just wanting to uh, just hit the edges as best I can. Just to not only lighten it up a little bit, but just give a little bit of depth. Move to a little stabbing motion here. Get some texture on there. Alright, I'll work on this some more, and I'll come back and show you what it looks like. That brightened up those bricks really nicely. I actually really, really like that. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this uh, bright neutral gray, and I'm going to use that same brush, and I'm going to mask off and do the dry brush on the concrete part. So I'll do that, and then I'll come back. Got the dry brushing done there on the street part. I like how it came out. It came out really, really cool. It does kind of look like concrete or asphalt or some sort of road type thing. Um, I'm going to let this dry completely. And then I'm going to do some finishing touches on it. And then I'm going to mount him on there. So when I come back, the whole thing will be complete. And we'll take a look at what he looks like. Everything's done. Got him super glued to the base. Everything came out really well. I actually really enjoyed this kit. Of course, I'm a huge fan of the Hulk. But it's a really nice kit. I like how the base came out. I like the colors. It still looks like comic book, but then it's got a little bit more realistic tones and gradations. Really, really fun kit. So that's going to do it for part four. Next up is going to be the finale for all the beauty shots. As always, I want to thank you guys for watching and thank you guys for subscribing. And I'll see you for the next build.